So guys, it's KidK here. Welcome to my video. Together we will check out a really interesting deck. And it's going to be Sea Vision Zola Big Spell Tempo Druid. As you can see, I'm missing one card, and in the comments, I saw that like something like Dark Reaper can do drop or something like Dark Reapers or like Fledglings. Seems like decent choices. I mean, I don't have the Twig and I don't really have the Dust to craft it, but I really wanted to give this deck a try since it looks really interesting and it looks like something completely new right now. So. I think I will go just for the fledgling because n not a lot of people is playing that card right now so it could be fun. So this deck has a killer set so we can high roll this way or we have these some really nice combinations. We have Medivh with uh, the Tish for the ultimate infestation. I guess if I would have the Twig that would be a way better synergy right because I could just pop it with the Medivh but I don't have it. Uh, also, we're running Spiteful Summoner for the UI, so we're just crossing our fingers that we don't get the UI into our hand before we get the Spiteful Summoners. Uh, also, Zola could be really interesting, like with Kalasa, for example, or like playing it on, on X Flip. That could be really freaking huge. So, I think that's it for talking. I guess you would love to see that deck in action. So, let's just jump to the games and see how it will go. Alright, so Rogue, probably a tempo rogue, right? So, we're definitely throwing away Skellbane and the Spellbreaker. I mean, should we keep the patches and on the other hand we don't really have a turn one play right so why shouldn't we not keep it i'm just kidding guys i'm just kidding well let's just hope for raven color set something like that this is actually not that bad but we still are missing a uh, turn two play and yeah turn two play we are missing turn one play and turn two play so given the fact that prince kalasat is the only turn two play you're probably just here powering his face which is not that good obviously no so it's not a tempo rogue then it's it's a king's bane rogue i mean i don't really want to play a fledgling into three one and I don't really want to play Zola, right? Yeah, we just have to do that. But we have this combo right there, so that's 12 damage. But he is at 29, so... And also we are at 4 mana. We are ramping for sure next turn. He's playing Tar Creeper, and is he coining out King's Bane? Uh, Alright. We really didn't want to see that. We would rather see a spice for summoner. And probably he thinks that I'm a big druid based on what I've played so far. I think we're just playing uh, Serenite into Raven. Yeah, I think we do. Probably a lot of minions will die, so we can play Creeper. We could possibly we could play Creeper plus Fledgling the same turn, which seems to be insane. This is not something we wanted to see though. Like deadly poison. No. Yeah. Alright, I will take that for sure. And the funny thing is that we can play the creeper as well, right? Yeah, we can. So give me the 10 drop right now. Alright. What it's going to be? Sea Giant, well, could be better, could be worse. The worst 10 drop is Katoon, right? 6-6, six, six, really. 
not something we're looking for. But I mean we have 13 damage if he's going to do such a threat. And we could play Leroy plus Zola next turn. But probably we just play a Fledgling, right? I mean, wait, what? Uh, so he's playing Doomerang or... He's playing Doomerang, I guess. With what? Sap? Wait. Alright, so he's sapping and playing Doomerang. No, he's playing... He plays two saps. Alright, I, I certainly didn't expect that to happen. We have... In our hand there is seven cards. Mm, so are we just playing Mark Keeper, Fledgling? I mean, we could play the UI next turn, but we will overdraw one card, but that doesn't really matter that much, right? Or we could uh, take the slower path and play... Uh, no, I like to play the UI. I think it's better, even though we overdraw one. Because the one card could be something like Patches, right? But it could be something like Malfurion Pestilent as well. Wow. This is really interesting play. So is he does he have shiny finder number two? He does. So now he needs Doomerang to clear this off, otherwise the fledgling will go crazy. Uh the King's Bane was seven three. Yeah, so we have like two turns. Two to Three turns, or well, he cannot play uh, Blade Fury. Wow. So yeah, we're just playing the UI to face, I guess. We do this trade for sure. Yeah. Uh, so we can play Ixlit into Zola, uh, or we could play Ixlit into to Leroy's? What the hell man, this, this seems really crazy. Are we stealthing that? We have 12 damage next turn, so if we get Wind Fury, we should actually kill him, right? Alright, let's just let's just do that. And he still needs to clear the 5-5 five five as well, man. This looks really good. So, is it going to be Blade Fury? Top deck Blade Fury? Come on, bro. I really think it's going to be the Blade Fury man. As you can see, it's the card from far, far right. A Doomsayer. Oh no, bro, you're just so dead. I hope the exploit works. Like I hope he works, but I I think he does, right? Wow. Wow. Just wow. Well, a cool land. Uh, if it's a classic control warlock, not really something we wanted to face. So, are we keeping the ramp? I think we do, right? Greedy spirit. Oh, Spiteful Summoner looks really juicy. Spellbreaker. I love to see it since we can silence Lackey or Void Lord even. Really good, really good. He mulliganed away his whole hand and he got the one drop on Kerr. Sure, it seems like the first two turns are really slow unless we... Yeah, I mean we have three one drops if we, if we count patches as one drop. And we have Galaset on two, so it kind of makes sense. Don't get me wrong. So if he's if he's going to mortal call that, we don't really care, I guess. We could play creeper on five. Is he going to kill it? I think he's not. All right. Are we clearing this? I doubt that we are. I mean, he has a defile clear, but if he's going to play defile on this, I don't really care that much. Wow, mountain giant though. I want... he's clearing. 
that's interesting for sure. So we're playing a Spiteful Summoner. Yeah, definitely. A 10 drop will contest this 8 8 for sure. Unless we get Katoon. Alright. Oh, come on, bro. Come on! Alright. If he's not coining out Dark Pact, he's not. Yeah, we are for sure. Uh, we are for sure spell breaking that. And question is, what else do we do? I don't really want to overextend that much. So I mean, we are not definitely trading any of these minions. Uh, question is, are we playing chain gang or are we just playing creeper or are we just playing? I don't know. I think we could play chain gang to protect this against hellfire. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Because the best clear he could do, I mean, if he has another librarian, he could go defile. But he doesn't have a 5 five health minion. Yeah, kind of complicates. Yeah, it's kind of complicating for him since there's going to stay. Well, yeah, he could, he could play defile with librarian and then trade the mountain giant. Or he could have lucky into dark pact and uh, pulling out void lord. But I mean, I don't think there's a lot of stuff he could do. There's the lackey stuff and the librarian defile. But he already used one librarian and he already used one lackey. This guy is almost out of time, so I guess he doesn't have the answers. Hellfire? Sure. And what now? What now? Defile? And he still needs to clear it, man. This... This is certainly not very good for that guy. So we're playing Malfurion, we are punching him for 3 to his face and playing the Creeper. 1-5 are more sticky, so we definitely spawn them. I mean, there's a possibility that he could go for the lackey play if he has it, but... I don't think that's... Well, if he, if he would go for that... Actually... If he pull out Void Lord, one, two, uh, it wouldn't be lethal, right? Anyway, but like, yeah, if he if he's going to play that, that's going to ruin our day. But he's not going to. So this is five damage on board. All right. Uh, what are we playing? I think this is really good. It's better than playing these small minions since Warlock is really, really uh, heavy AOE. Removal. He has a lot of these removals. It is going to be coin Void Lord, and that's not good. We just need UI right now, or like Spiteful Summoner is decent, I guess. Yeah, sure. Let's go for a Spiteful Summoner. Hopefully, we can get something decent now, not a Katoon. Sure. Tyrantis. Well,. I would uh, say that he's playing, uh, it's a Q block probably, that's one thing to mention. And probably he doesn't play um, stuff like Twisting Nether if he's playing Mountain Giants. So if he doesn't have second Void Lord into Bloody Reaver, Gul'dan or Nazoth, I think we win this. If he has Defile, I mean, <laughs> there's no way he's going to clear 12-12. Yeah, the only out is like second, uh, second Void Lord. Not even sure if that's lethal. I, I'm too lazy to count now. So yeah, he's tapping. So this is definitely a good uh, signal for us. I think we got this. Unless you go lackey, lackey into dark pack. Uh, that's not enough. <laughs> Sure, there, there's nothing he could do now. Yeah, I mean defile, sure. There's this big guy. Oh my god, come on, this guy is such a such a He's not a nice guy, come on. I could win with attacking with Tyrantus to his face. Have you ever seen something like that? I certainly did not. So guys, this deck so far 4-0. It's really good, man. I didn't even expect it to be that good, actually. 
On the paper it looks really good, right? Even without the tweak, I've done some crazy stuff. So if you have the cards, definitely go for it and try it. I wouldn't suggest uh, suggest to you to craft it, but it's definitely fun. I mean, I've already crafted Xlit X, X for some deck in the beginning of the expansion and I had the Zola as well. So yeah, so far a really fun deck, something new to try out, definitely uh, definitely shout out to Sea Visions for that deck, really good, really good and fun and entertaining guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, think about subscribing to my channel guys. And yeah, have a nice day everyone and see you hopefully in new videos.